Welcome to another video of Walk on the Wild Side and I'm here in Blackpool. I'm just by North Station here, the train station. And in this video I want to take a look at the shops we've got here in the town centre. Is the shopping any good in Blackpool? What do you think? Do you come to Blackpool for your shopping? I've had a few people tell me that they love to come here to Blackpool for their shopping, but there are other people that say it's not a patch on Preston, which is just down the road. Anyway, I'm going to take a look around the town centre now and we'll see what we can find. We've got one for a start off right behind me at Sainsbury's. I'll be a look. Yeah, so we're starting off here in Bickerstaff Square, the Talbot Gateway, and there's a Sainsbury's there. Well, everywhere's got a Sainsbury's, hasn't it? So there's nothing original there. So I'm going to take a walk into the town centre. We'll go past the council offices here, and uh, we'll see what we've got, shall we? See what kind of shops we've got. I'll probably take a walk in the. Uh, the mall as well. Quite an interesting area around here. Uh, you do get uh, a few interesting characters around this part of, of Blackpool. Just over the road we've got the uh, the new Holiday Inn Hotel. Look at that, isn't that impressive? Wow. Anyway, let's head down this way, shall we? Talbot Road. Yeah, so I'm going to take you to where all the main shops are. I'm going to head down Talbot Road here, then we'll turn left onto Abingdon Street and we'll head on to Church Street. And, uh, We'll see what we can find, shall we? Yeah, so here's a look at Talbot Road. I'll tell you what, it's pretty busy along here. And uh, this is going to be like a main route for trams, as you can see. We've got tram tracks coming up here. In 2024 to the new tram station. Not a whole lot of shops along this section here. Uh, we've got a Heron Foods over there. Does anybody go to Heron Foods? Again, it's one of those places that you get anywhere. And just over there we've got home bargains and on this side we seem to have quite a few takeaways things like that charity shops homeless uh, charity shop there so there's not a whole lot to see on Talbot Road but uh, I'm gonna head down this way and we'll turn left onto Abingdon Street and see what we can see along there shall we come on lad Come on, come on, come on, lad. Come on, birthday boy. Come on, birthday boy. It is a bit of an interesting area around here, as you can see. Uh, we've got the old, uh, the old beer monsters around here. Anyway, I'm going to leave Talbot Road now, and we'll head down this road here. This is Abingdon Street, and this heads towards the Winter Gardens. We'll see what shops are down here, shall we? <laughs> Again, charity shops there, eh? easterly. Phone shop, nothing too special along here. Stick with us, it will get better. This is a good place here, look, the Abingdon Barbecue. Look at that there, look. That's pretty awesome in here, you know. Let's have a look at this, shall we? Wow. Look at that. Mmm. Anyway, here's a look over the road there. Another charity shop there. Another big space there. To let quite a few empty shops. It's a bit like anywhere really, isn't it? Bernardo's. This is the old post office here. It's been empty since 2008. The old post office here in the centre of Blackpool. And it's still got these Red phone boxes outside, aren't they fancy? Very, very artistic. Most people like to take um, they like to take photographs of those red telephone boxes. They are locked the way that they're all lined up. Although, unfortunately, now they they tend to be used as toilets. Look at that there, police station. This used to be a police station way back when in Blackpool on Abingdon Street, and it's now. Abingdon Street Market, look at that. This has actually been closed for ages. I believe it's opened up again. 
although I think the entrance is around the back or they partially opened it anyway it, I think it's just uh, got like a, a restaurant in there or I'm not too sure but uh, well uh, I'll look at that in another video anyway uh, but uh, some more shops here along Avenue Street straight ahead we've got the um, the Winter Gardens I'll just show you down this way there's not really any like proper shops there's more like cafes and that down here coffee shops there's a really good one actually called compass cafe you want to check it out the breakfast there is absolutely awesome that's burley street and the fancy um got the fancy uh, artwork as well this is the rest this is a west coast rock cafe there very very popular but we're going to head towards uh church street and it'll get a little bit more interesting now we'll start to see some more proper shops along this way just to the right hand side here church street just going past the ventro lounge there another very quite a swanky place that actually the ventro lounge yeah and that's just across the road from uh, this chippy here fish and chip restaurant yeah let's see so this is church street folks uh, got another nice coffee shop there called the high very very popular a little bit of work going on around here as you can see there's something um, boarded off there and uh, we've got a nail shop over there got a greg's of course nothing too special about that but just over here we've got beaver brooks look at this folks beaver brooks uh, this this jewel has been here for well decades beaver brooks and next to beaver brooks we've got marks and spence as well there you go marks and spence's uh, it's still with us, Martin Spencer. You think of all the shops, the stores that have closed down, like Woolworths and, and all that, that sort of thing. All those famous shops that have closed down. We've still got Martin Spencer's. I think we should be happy about that, folks. But uh, just over here, we've got British Heart Foundation. That's just some really good stuff in there. Yeah, British Heart Foundation. Yeah, we've got some nice furniture in there. But we're heading down Church Street towards past all this. Another another smaller British Heart Foundation there there's the Grand Theatre there Matcham's Masterpiece the Grand Theatre there yeah I'm going to take a left down the alley it'll lead us to Hounds Hill Shopping Centre and we'll see what it's like in there see what they've got in there shall we before I head down there I just wanted to quickly show you this way that's Corporation Street and this store on the left you see where it says Santander there that used to be um, used to be British Home Stores who remembers British Home Stores yeah so there you go anyway we're gonna head down this narrow road here and we'll head towards the uh, the Hounds Hill and we'll see what they've got in there okay before we head into the Hounds Hill Centre I just want to show you this road here it's called Victoria Street look at that view there towards the the western entrance of the Winter Gardens check it out that's the little road that I came down there and we're just heading down Victoria Street now we're gonna go into the Hounds Hill Centre Close shop there called Roman. Spec savers should have gone to Spec savers. <laughs> Here we go, folks. We're now heading into the Hounds Hill. It's the first time I've ever actually filmed inside here. Can you believe that? Let's have a look and see what they've got in here. The perfume shop. So I've just come into the Hounds Hill Shopping Centre here and I've actually just met someone there, so hi to you. If you were the person that I just met there, outside Cafe Nero, that leads towards Boots down that way. This is a Skechers store here, Skechers, we've got a Skechers. Just over here we've got Lids, specialist cap store there, Card Zone, Warren James Jewelers. Builder Bear, Kitty's Toys there, Yuiko, I can't read that there, we've got a mobile phone store there, three, just upstairs we've got the food court which leads to Burger King and uh, just over here we've got Primark. It's quite busy in here, Deitchman. Is that how you say it, Deitchman? We're making our way through the Hounds Hill 
shopping centre. Trespass over here. Super drug. Let's have a quick look down here before we carry on. I missed this little bit. John Nelson, footwear specialist. Look at that, that's cut. Looks quite swanky, doesn't it? Anyway, just down that way is another way in and out of the mall. Got an empty unit there. So we'll head back up to the to the other side and uh, we'll see what else we can see. Here's a quick index of all the places that are here, just in case I've missed any. Master Henry's Emporium of Sweets. Wow. That looks quite fancy, doesn't it? Mankind. Muffin Break. Just over here we've got River Island. And just this way we've got uh, JD Sports there. JD Sports. Next. And this is the part here which used to lead up to Debenhams, which of course Debenhams closed down, didn't it? But Debenhams was uh, right up this way, but it's now, I think, what have they changed it to? Now I'm not too sure. I think what they've done is they've actually changed it all up here and they're actually building a new cinema complex. And I think that's going to take up most of what was Debenhams down that way. Look at that there and also the the Wilco store as well but just here we've got Foot Asylum there you go Foot Asylum just over the road we've got Tessuti yours lots of places to sit down as well Jack and Jones Leading labels. This is the Hounsell Centre in the Blackpool. How does it compare to a shopping mall in your town? Is it pretty much the same? Do we not have as much stuff? What do you think? Anyway, we're going to head back out now into the sunshine. Starbucks and Costa Coffee they've got. Oh, look at this box, we're coming back out into the sunshine. Whoa. The sunshine in Blackpool. Just over here we've got uh, CEX. Everywhere's got a CEX, hasn't it? Yeah. Let's have a look around here. There's a church there, look. The New Central Methodist Church. And we've got a Greg's. And just over the road we've got water stones. Who hasn't got a water stones? Someone's having a bit of a sleep there. The throne. London. So there you go, we've had a little look through the Hounds Hill Centre here in Blackpool. How does it compare to yours? I tell you what, the seagulls here in Blackpool don't off make a racky. My goodness. Anyway, let's head down this way. We're not too far from the tower now, wait till you see this. That building over there is supposed to be the new Sands venue and the Showtown Museum. Yeah, they haven't finished it off yet. Just down that way is Coral Island. There's a shop there called Shoe Zone. Wigwam. We've got TK Maxx down there. We've got another Heron Foods down that direction. Now this store here on the right hand side used to be the flagship Woolworth store. There you go, the Woolworth store, but it's now been, it's been split up into, of course, Woolworth's no longer going, of course. It's a pound land. There's uh, the Albert and the Lion Weatherspoons at the front. Over here, we've got Sports Direct. So that takes up this building. And just behind there, look at this. Blackpool Tower, look at that, wow. This is where we are now, folks. We are now on Bank Hay Street. So we're now around the... The other side of Primark, showed Primark, it goes into the mall, so there's like the, the entrance on this side. We'll see what we can see up here, shall we? 
I tell you what, it's a bit breezy down here at the back of the Blackpool Tower on Bank Hay Street in Blackpool. So what do you think so far, folks? Are the shops in Blackpool any good? Are they enough to tempt you to come here? So there's a look at Blackpool Tower from the back and Bank A Street. Um, yeah, a little bit devoid of greenery along here. Blackpool Council, not the most uh, uh, inventive when it comes to planters. Uh, nice concrete there in that plant pot there. But just over there, we've got the HM. They call it the HMV shop now. HMV. That's been there for decades. HMV. Next to that, we've got the Comedy Station, Comedy Club. And just here we've got Boots. I said that you could get to Boots from the Howes Hill Centre. Well, there's the main entrance there to Boots. I believe the shop, they're shutting some of the shops down, Boots. It could be another casualty of the high street. What do you think, Boots? So uh, you might want to use it while you can. But we're now just at the... We're just back at that street again, where I was before, the Victoria Street. Uh, that's where we had that great view of the... Uh, the Winter Garden. We'll just head down this way, shall we, so we can see down here. We're now around the back of what used to be Lewis's department store. You see all this here? This was the Lewis's department store. Yeah, and we've now got this. Here, Blackpool's newest amusements. Look at that there. Yeah, so who remembers Lewis's? Yeah. They partly dismantled the building and sort of cobbled this ugly structure what do you think it's uh, not very inspiring is it the hole in the one that's a new attraction there a Harry Potter inspired golf attraction I think boutique exchange discount outlet there on the left what's this here? essentials for all your household needs We're making our way towards Market Street, just up here. Oh look, we've got more of those concrete. Uh, look at that, look at that beautiful concrete. Whoa. Blackpool Council. They really know how to, uh, you know. Oh, I don't know, what, what can I say? What can I say? Come on, Blackpool Council. You can do better than this. Okay, so I'm now back on Church Street again, and uh, look at this. Not allowed to drive up this road here, or this part of Church Street anyway, between that time period there, because it's uh, it's a bus gate, look. So you'll be on camera. Yeah, they'll get you. Anyway, just over there, we've got B&M bargains. Everyone's got a B&M, haven't they? And just over here, we've got cookies. Check out cookies if you come into Blackpool. Nice little coffee shop there another clothes shop on the corner here uh, oh just over the road we've got Leonard Jews now Leonard Jews is actually closing down it's going to become history folks Leonard Jews it's been here for decades but it's going to close down I'm afraid do you remember when they used to have the clock on the side they used to have a clock on the side here I remember getting the bus years ago and seeing the clock there on the side but yeah Leonard Jews they're closing down look at the prices what do you think? Can you afford any of these? Bloody hell. I'll tell you what, they're not cheap, some of these. Did anybody say that there was no art in Blackpool? Well, check this out. We can do art when we want to. Maybe those concrete plant pots are art. I don't know. We might have to ask Blackpool Council about that. Fish and chip shop, Subway, Mega Bowl. Just here we've got Revolution. We're getting towards all the pubs and the clubs now. And I think that's our lot for the shops, folks. What do you think? I'll tell you what, I managed to find myself down this rather dirty and stinky alley here in the middle of Blackpool Town Centre. Anyway, that was a little look at the shops in Blackpool. How does it compare 
to where you live and uh, is it all it's cracked up to be you know i've said i've had people say oh we'd love to go to blackpool for the shopping but is it any patch on preston which is just down the road anyway i hope i've given you a good idea of the shops here in blackpool let me know down in the comments what you think and i hope you like this video if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i'll see you again on the next one